the supreme court judgment in the pere rivalan case has come as a major victory for the tamil nadu government now let's speak to mr kumanan tamil nadu government advocate for his views on this important judgment sir what is the importance of today's supreme court judgment in the pere rivalan case yes see this we consider as a phenomenal victory for the state of tamil nadu and the initiative which has been taken by our honorable chief minister who has been consistently following up the matter and then he was giving the guidance and then he was even interacting with the advocates and the senior advocates to uphold the right of the state so because of his serious efforts we are very proud that it has finally happened and the main uh, issue in this case is article 161 whether that article 161 the decision of the state cabinet will binding on the governor of the particular state that has been decided by the honorable supreme court which says that the cabinet decision which has been taken under article 161 of the constitution it binds the governor so governor governor has to act on the decision of the cabinet ministers the tamil nadu government has been repeatedly stressing that pereri valan should be released and that is the stand of the tamil nadu government but there has been a lot of delay so does this mean now that the supreme court has very clearly stated that in such cases there should not be any delay on the part of the government yes actually supreme court have used a categorical term called its judicial review for the reason the court has opined that once the cabinet has taken a decision the governor was sitting on the file for more than 2 and 1/2 years without taking any of the decision that is prima facie wrong that's what the court said that's why the court interfered in a way of judicial review and finally he came to a conclusion that i don't have the power i'm referring the matter to the uh, president which the state government have categorically and strongly opposed that no article 161 if the cabinet has taken a decision it is binding on the governor governor should have acted on it instead of it he has afforded to the uh, president is completely unconstitutional in which the supreme court have accepted our submissions and passed the order and they have exercised even the power under article 142 which is the power to do the complete justice and then they have released the see the pere rivalan case is a very important case because yes. uh, former prime minister uh, rajiv gandhi assassination case in 2014 the death sentence was reduced to life sentence and now another important sentence has been given by the supreme court so if this issue is impacting on various other issues like uh, several decisions taken by the tamil nadu government in the tamil nadu assembly are pending with the governor etc so will the governor now be under judicial scrutiny to decide on these issues as quickly as possible yes that is what the supreme court judgment of categorically said because that ratio which is laid down by the honorable supreme court is not confined only to this co- this case it has confined to all the other similar cases which is pending not only in tamil nadu in various other states as well uh, any clarity from this judgment on the powers of the governor versus the powers of the president of india no we haven't got the complete judgment yet but what is the operative portion of the judgment which our lordships have read over it it has categorically stated that the power of the governor and the power of the ministers in regarding to article 161 and then with the other relevant provisions of the constitution so the prayer of the tamil nadu government as far as this case is concerned has been completely now accepted by the supreme court yes it's been completely accepted that is the reason they have uh, granted the early remission and immediate release of the person mr kumanan tamil nadu government advocate representing the state of tamil nadu in the pere rivalan case in the supreme court this is ganapati subramanyam for the federal with camera person murugesan in the supreme court new delhi